Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to reflect spells using the monk. So with that being said, let's get started. Now I just want to say reflecting spells with the monk is very hard. You have to predict when your opponent places the spells. You cannot react to it. But before I go into the tips, let me explain how this ability works. The monk has a one elixir ability. Basically when you activate it, the monk will reflect all projectiles for four seconds. During the state, he also has an 80% damage reduction, so he can be used as a tank during his reflection. But it is best to reflect stuff rather than use him as a tank since the ability just doesn't last long enough for it to be effective. But let's get into tips about reflecting spells. Before you can reflect any spells, you have to know what spells can be reflected. Spells that come from the King Tower such as arrows, fireball, rocket can be reflected, but spells that spawn into maps such as poison, zap, and lightning cannot be reflected. Figure out what your opponent has before trying to reflect spells. You can also reflect the Goblin Barrel, but that isn't very reliable since it has a small radius and is usually hitting the Princess Tower, so don't try doing that. And a tip for reflecting spells, you have to know when your opponent has it in cycle, because if your opponent doesn't have your Fireball in cycle, you can't reflect it. So I have a semi-decent idea on how much Elixir your opponent has and where their spell is, so you can potentially reflect it. And a tip for reflecting spells with the monk is you want to make something that your opponent wants to spell. The monk's by itself, of course the opponent's not going to spell it unless if they're crazy, but you want to make a situation where the spell is the best counter for your push. For example, what I like to do is I like to surround my monk with fireballs such as barbarians or musketeers and try to reflect them. It is not guaranteed that your opponent's going to want to fireball your monk or something, but try to make a situation where if you're in their shoes, fireball would be the best solution. Or whatever spells they have. Huge tip is earlier is better. Your opponent usually doesn't expect you to activate their monk ability on the river, which makes sense. You want to get as much value as possible, which includes getting that ship damage from the Princess Tower. So earlier is a good idea for predicting spells. There are so many times where if I just activated my monk ability on the bridge, I would have saved my musketeers from pesky fireball or rocket. So earlier is usually better. Also, you want to keep in mind that you don't want to be too early. If your opponent sees the monk ability activated, they're not going to use a spell on it. So keep that in mind. A nice sleep spot for you guys is usually near the bridge, if not a little bit over it. That's usually where your opponents would tend to fireball or log your troops. And it is usually better to be too early than too late. If you press the ability too early, the monk's ability is not wasted. It provides an area of denial where your opponent cannot use spells on it. So it is usually better to have it too early than too late anyways. Any spell you can reflect is a good spell. Even something like the Log or Snowball, even though they're two extra spells, is a lot better to have reflected than hit your own troops. So even if your opponent has a spell like the Snowball or the Log, try to reflect it because you may be able to save some log bait troops which can deal a lot of damage without the proper counters. Arrow is a bit of a tricky situation. Uh, if the monk is in the outer radius of the arrows, it won't reflect the ability completely. So it has to be near the center if you want a full reflect. But it is pretty consistent other than that. Keep in mind that it is almost impossible to react to a spell with the monk ability. For example, when my opponent tried to rocket my monk and I tried to reflect it, uh, it didn't work. <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't want to be reacting, you want to be predicting when your opponent places their spell. But those are some tips to use for the monk's ability. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys all in the next video of Clash Royale. Bye bye.